let's go ahead and get the eye stay right there. Let's get a UV map on this guy as well. So first thing I'll do is I'll hit Shift H to hide everything except that. I'll bring up my UV viewport here. All right, and we'll go ahead and create a new UV map and this will be called Ice Day. There we go. Now let's go over to my polygons, polygon mode here. And I'm going to do a uh, going to do a uh, UV unwrap. So I'm going to just uh, select the boundaries, holding down the control key and clicking on that. And I'll do a, a UV unwrap here, clicking the viewport once, twice, thrice. Okay, let's bring up our uh, properties and see what we've got here. So that's not too bad. So I've got angle base, I've got selected edges, I've got a thousand iterations as opposed to say 100, which would give me a much different sort of look. So as I kind of click and kind of climb up on this, we can see that our map will change probably around. So when I get around a thousand, we are, we're good to go. And uh, we're using a initial projection as a planar and we're using a U as a uh, pinning axis as opposed to the V. And uh, yeah, so we've got a pretty good start right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my uh, UV textures and grab a UV map here. Let's just use this one. That's not too terrible. Um, we notice that we've got some pinching here going on. If we use a any kind of a pattern on here a fabric or whatever it's going to be larger here than it is on the on the front of the eye stays so we want to balance that out a little bit so we will go to the uv relax tool and uh, it is doing the relax now and i think that's much much better let's look at what our parameters are on this go to the tool properties bring that up I'll pin this and we see we have adaptive we have 2000 iterations and if I drop that down to 1000, what does that give us here? That's yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. That's still in the ballpark here. Um, we have boundary set to smooth and our area weight at 10. So I think these settings are pretty good for, for this uh, particular object. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, close that and I'll do a fit and we're good. All right. So yeah, I think this will work for us. I'll turn this off for now and unhide all my parts. Now the rest of the shoe, the uh, UV map for the inside parts of the shoe and this uh, padding, as well as the tongue and the strings, we'll do those later as we go along, as we start texturing. So uh, for now, this will work for what we've got and uh, we'll go ahead and start uh, adding textures to uh, these panels.